Back with breaking updates coming in. 21 retired judges have written to the Chief Justice on unwarranted pressure on the judiciary. The letter has been signed by 21 judges consisting of four Supreme Court judges as well as 17 High Court judges as well. Legal editor Harish Nair joining us with the details. In fact, in the letter, they have written about the need to safeguard judiciary from unwarranted pressures. Going on to say that we, a collective of retired judges from the High Courts and the Supreme Court of India take a moment to draw upon our years of service within the judiciary to express our concern regarding the escalating attempts by certain factions to undermine the judiciary. Harish, what are the details? Harish? All right, we'll go back to Harish in just a moment, but let's get you the details of the letter that has been written. And I quote from the letter, it says, it has come to a notice that these elements motivated by narrow political interest and personal gains are striving to erode the public's confidence in our judicial system. Mohit Bhatt also joining us with the details. Mohit, uh, the letter being written to the Chief Justice regarding uh, pressure, unwarranted pressure that has been written. Take us through the details of this letter. need to safeguard the judiciary from unwarranted pressures. Now, these judges basically say that uh, they are taking this moment to write to the Chief Justice, drawing upon years of their service and experience within the judiciary, and they have uh, expressed their concerns regarding the escalating attempts by the certain factions to undermine the judiciary through calculated pressure, misinformation, and public disparagement. Now, they've also said that it has come to their notice that these elements, motivated by narrow political interests and personal gains, are striving to erode the manifold and uh, uh, public confidence in our judicial system. So it's a very strongly worded letter that has been written by the uh, former judges of the High Court and the Supreme Court, where they basically say that, that how the political interests are trying to influence the judiciary, and they want that CJI should take action okay. in this particular regard. And they also say that they stand in solidarity with the judiciary mm. and prepare to support in any any manner necessary to uphold okay. the dignity, integrity... In fact, they've integrity expressed concerns the... over the aspersions on the integrity of the courts and the judges. Swati is also joining us with the letter that we've accessed. Yes, Swati. Yes, uh, Pratibha, like uh, Mohit said, it's a strongly worded letter. Look at the subject. It says, need to safeguard judiciary from unwarranted pressures. Return to the Chief Justice of India yesterday on the 14th of April 2024. Let me take you through the uh, operative portion of this. It says, we are collective of retired judges from the High Courts and the Supreme Court of India. Take this moment to write to you drawing upon our years of service and experience within the judiciary to express our shared concern regarding the escalating attempts by certain factions to undermine the judiciary through calculated pressure, misinformation and public disparagement. It has come to our notice that these elements motivated by narrow political interests and personal gains are striving to erode the public's confidence in our judicial system. Their methods are manifold and insidious with clear attempts to sway judicial process by casting aspersions on the integrity of our courts and the judges. Such actions not only disrespect the sanctity of our judiciary, but also pose a direct challenge to the principles of fairness and impartiality that judges as guardians of the law have sworn to uphold. The strategy, they're talking about the strategy as well, not naming individuals, calling him a faction, certain individuals. The strategy employed by these groups is deeply troubling, ranging from the propagation of baseless theories intended to malign the judiciary's reputation to engaging in overt and covert attempts to influence judicial outcomes to their favor. This this behavior we observe is particularly pronounced in the cases and causes of social, economic and political uh, significance, including the cases involving certain individuals wherein the lines between advocacy and maneuvering are blurred to the detriment of judicial independence. So it's a long letter. Uh, it also says, in light of the observations, we urge the judiciary led by the Supreme Court to fortify against such pressures and ensure that the sanctity and aut autonomy of our legal system are persevered, uh, are preserved. I beg your pardon. It is uh, imperative that the judiciary remains a pillar of democracy, immune to the whims and fancies of transient political interests. We stand in solidarity with the judiciary and are prepared to support in any manner necessary to uphold the dignity, integrity and impartiality of our judiciary. So these judges, retired judges of High Court and Supreme Court, writing to CGI uh, to ensure that we safeguard judiciary uh, also alleging that certain individuals a group is working to malign the image of judiciary
Okay, all right. It has not specified any specific incidents or individuals, but in the letter, uh, it goes on to say that there is propagation of baseless theories that is intended to malign the judiciary's reputation to engaging in overt and covert attempts to influence judicial outcomes in their favor. Mohit, uh, so while it does not name any specific incidents, it does not name any individuals, uh, this letter written by judges seeking action from the Chief Justice to safeguard judiciary. Well, yes, in fact, uh, these letter, this letter by the former judges basically say that how the political interests are trying to influence the judiciary and hence we need to safeguard uh, the interests of the judiciary. And they also say that they say stand in support of judiciary and anyhow needed, they are, uh, they are willing to the judiciary, but they say that the standards of the judiciary compared these political interests with the narrow mind with who are trying to influence the judiciary should not be given any any hindrance now we are, we know for a fact that how written by the form of high court and supreme court and i would like uh, the says and very strongly it says this behavior we observe is particularly pronounced in the cases and causes of social economic and political significance including the cases involving certain but it uh, blood to the detrimental of judicial independence so clearly we have seen that how well, in past few days, in past few uh, months, we have seen that whenever a decision has come from the uh, from a court, we see that the political ramifications of a political party is making statements on it, and hence we see that former judges have written uh, to the CJI saying that uh, the the independence of judiciary and the self esteem of judiciary should be upheld. So we have to wait and watch how will the political parties react to this. But yes, the letter has been addressed to the Chief Justice of India and it is being written by the former judges of the High Court and the Supreme Court. Back to you, Julius. Okay, all right. Mohit and Swati, thank you for joining us with those details. So we are keeping a track of the reactions that come into that big story. For now, a quick break. We'll be right back with the top headlines.